How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, English Old Ale? Barley Wine? I don't know. This is OEC's Zittimore. Um, whatever you want to call it. Um, OEC is a division of B United. B United is a, like, middleman distributor who does a ton of beer, um, beer stuff. I don't even want, they're not necessarily like a Shelton United or Shelton Brothers thing. They do a lot of stuff where they do distribution and like <sighs> aging and a whole conglomerate of craziness. And they have a splinter kind of cell, I guess you would say, called OEC, where they take a bunch of beers. Well, they actually brew their own beers, but then they take a bunch of beers that come to market and then they age them. And that's what this is. This is um, a J.W. Lee's Harvest Ale. And it was aged, in, I believe, on cherries or grapes in a barrel. A uh, wine barrel. We'll get to that when we read this. So, super excited to give this a whirl. This actually came to me. Um, uh, George um, Zerbalis. Um, uh, I'm going to say the last name right for the first time in the history of mankind. Gave that, uh, brought this to me. Uh, he went up there, grabbed it for me. I cannot actually express how happy I am that he actually got this for me. Um, my balls are tingling, and I'm so excited to give this to the world. So thank you very much, George. As far as what it says on the bottle, it says, uh, The base beer for this batch was J.W. Lee's Harvest Ale. The beer was matured for one year in Spanish Muscatel barrel and uh, aged on a something grapes from an orchard. Only 400 liters were produced for this beer. Batch 070115. Um, let's see. JW's Harvest Ale, Old Barrels, yada, yada, yada. On the back here, we have unfiltered, unpasteurized, and bottle conditioned. Uh, the Zittimore Project is a journey in the land of spontaneous and exploration of the aromas, flavors, and can be created by the maturation. Great products over the all over the world and used in used barrels from outstanding small producers and wine and spirits. Worlds and Patience. Now, I'm reading this wrong. For more information, please visit um, Be United Is It a More. Uh, so there you go. Absolutely beautiful packaging. I mean, look at that bottle. That's a work of art. It's like almost Italian. Um, except it didn't cost Italian prices. You know, beautiful labeling. Beautiful curves in a bottle. You know, nice foil top. Everything about it. This screams awesome. So let's see what we have. No idea if there's a cap and cork or just a cap. We're going to find out. Let's just uh, bang through it. Let's see what we got. Just a cap. No puff whatsoever. So who knows what. I don't know if they force carbonated after they actually barrel aged the beer. I'm sure they did. So I don't know why they would just not carbonate their beers. Hand that off to you guys. People off stage. Um, off stage. I think this is a fucking stage. Um, uh, n uh, micron figure ahead. Um, in off white, and it looks like JW Lee's. It just looks like murky dish water. Um, like actually, like um, almost like um, like super runny diarrhea uh, is what I would classify that as looking. Um, and I think that's a good thing. So. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, this looks like a beer I'm going to have like a, a super boner over and uh, jizzle all over myself. So yeah, not much of a head. I mean, again, you're taking a initial product, you're putting it in a barrel, you're not expecting a ton of carbonation, so you can forgive that. So it looks like J.W. Lee's. Let's see what she smells like. Okay. It's like if you took if you took like base JW Lee's and just laid it on grapes for a bit. Now, let's fucking retract. Base JW Lee's an aged one. And this, I don't know what age this is that they did this with. You're getting a ton of toffee, a ton of caramel. It's almost like a, sh a sour sugar daddy to a point, kind of wrapped in grape leaves. 
It smells like... It smells like a sugar daddy. Sugar daddy, in a good way, that has been run through a weird filter of goodness. So, I don't know what that means, but um, it definitely smells like an aged JW Lee's. Again, like I said, they say it's, their base is JW Lee's. I don't know what year it is. This smells to me like a 02 to 06 JW Lee's. If this is oh whatever, 15 JW Lee's or 012, somewhere newish. Then are accelerating the aging process, so kudos to them. So, it smells like a DW Lee's. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. It smells like it tastes, or it smells and tastes like an HW Lee's, or HW. JW! JW! JW Lee's. But it has this, like, slightly acidic, tannic kind of grape skin going on. It's good. It's amazing. I love it. It's delicious. I want to drink more of it. I want to put it in my butthole. It is absolutely fantastic. But at the same time, it needs carbonation. I don't think they force carbon in this, which I think might be an issue. Um, you know, I've aged beers, like beers I've gotten before. I've gotten beers before, and I've like, okay, I don't like this beer. I've taken that beer and poured it into a cask and aged it myself, and they've come out not as good as this, but close to this. My, my only complaint was, I wish it was carbonated, and I was like, okay, that's where the big dogs come in. That's where the big companies come in. They'll sit there, they'll force carbonate it, they'll make some kind of carbonation happen, as you can. But this one just lacks a little bit of carbonation for me. Like, it's delicious. I want to drink it all day. I'm going to grade it a great score. I love it. It's delicious. I just wish it had a little bit of carbonation going on. So yeah, coffee, caramel, dates, the whole nine, that whole gig. It has this, that J.W. Lee's aftertaste, J.W. Lee's taste, that like funky J.W. Lee's taste that's only unique to them. It has that going on in spades. You get a little bit of that uh, wine barrel in there. It's like a sweet barrel. It's not like a, like a Malbec or super overly... I don't want to say like sour. I want to say it's more acidic, even though this is a little more acidic. It has that little bit of a wine barrel going on. You have a little bit of that kind of grape, maybe even a little bit of cherry going on, but it's it, it's minimal. It's not super over the top. What I taste is, I would love to know what age this is, because if this is a brand new JW Lee's, but they did just blatantly accelerated the age of this beer. But it's absolutely fantastic. Rating wise, I give it a 94. It's a fantastic beer. Uh, if it had carbonation, I would give it a 98. Um, it just lacks carbonation, so that's the only problem with it. Um, value and availability. I'm not going to comment on it because it's in brewery only. and Actually, value, it's pretty cheap. It was like 12 bucks, so that's not too shabby, but I'm going to skip over that whole thing. So 94 overall, legs for days, delicious, delicious mud water beer. That tastes like the malted malt balls and all kinds of awesomeness. You just you need a little bit of carbonation, so hopefully I pull that off. So there you go. If you like what, will you like this? Hardy's, JW Lee's, old old stocks. If you like that, you like this. There you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, if you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on tap. Massive beers in all four of those places. And, uh, yeah, another review down. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a fucking crazy, bonkers, fucking barrel-aged something right now. And, uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.